Hello mga kamestro, welcome back again to my channel And isang vlog na naman ng ating uh, tatalakayin ngayong araw Marami nagtatanong no, sa ating uh, comment section regarding uh, building permits and uh, exceptions Ano ba yung mga uh, hindi kailangan ng building permit at ano yung kailangan ng uh, building permit So yun ang tatalakayin natin ngayon no, regarding exceptions And of course, uh, discuss natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng repairs, alteration and uh, addition So before that, kung hindi pa kayo subscriber sa aking channel, mag-subscribe na no? at marami kayong uh, matutunan no? lalo na kung kayo ay magpapagawa ng inyong uh, mga bahay no? or magpaparepair ng inyong mga bahay Marami kayong matututunan sa ating uh, channel So subscribe na and uh, click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next vlog na meron tayo And of course Share na rin sa ating mga kaibigan so that uh, lahat tayo ay makapag-benefit uh, sa ating uh, e-coffee talk with Maestro. Okay, sa so mga kamestro, ang ating topic ngayon ay uh, exemption sa building permit no? or ano ba yung mga kailangan gawin or ano ba yung mga activities na kailangan ng building permit at ano yung mga activities na hindi kailangan ng building permit. Meron na akong naunang post before, no? uh, kinumpare ko ang uh, exception, no? exception ng dalawa, no? exception ng payment and exception mismo ng pagkuha ng building permit. Ngayon, titingnan natin no ano ba talaga ang uh, <coughs> exemption pagdating sa repairs no and uh, alterations or addition. Under Section 301 ng ating uh, National Building Code or revise uh, implementing rules ng National Building Code, doon natin makikita no sa issuance ng building permit that there is an exception to the rule, no? So doon makikita natin sa item number 3 that uh, <coughs> A building permit shall not be required for the following minor constructions. So, sinasabi dito, minor constructions and repairs. Of course, we have to uh, discuss later on ano bang ibig sabihin dito pag sinabing repairs. No? So, dito sa number 3 ng section 301, nakalagay that uh, in minor constructions like uh, sheds, Uh, outhouses, greenhouses, children's playhouses, aviaries, poultry, houses, and the like not exceeding 6 square meters in total area provided they are completely detached from any building and are intended only for private use of the owner. So itong mga nababanggit, as long na hindi siya naka-attach sa isang bahay ay uh, pwede siyang ma-exempt sa building permit as minor construction. As long that it is for the private use of the owner, not for business uh, purposes. No? Kasi pag business purposes, kailangan na ng uh, building permit uh, application. Addition of open terraces. No? Nagpa-extend ka lang ng terasa or uh, patios. Resting directly on the ground, hindi pwede yung may second floor. No? Pagdating sa second floor, kailangan na ng building permit. Bakit? May structural element. No? May uh, pundasyon at may poste. So, ang sinasabi lang dito sa minor construction ay open na terasa, no? open na balcony ng uh, resting on the ground, not exceeding 20 square meters in total floor area and exclusively for the use of the owner. So, yun ang requirements sa ating minor construction. Okay? Kailangan resting on the ground. Pagka hindi siya resting on the ground, second floor siya, balcony, for example, sa second floor, kailangan na ng building permit. No? Yun. And then, of course, sa uh, minor construction, uh, installation of window grills, hindi na yan kailangan pa ng building permit. And uh, garden pools for the habitation of uh, water plants. No? Gumawa ka ng... Uh, Uh, pan for example para pang uh, dilig ng halaman and uh, or aquarium uh, fish pan not exceeding 500 mm in depth 
na 0.50 and exclusively for private use. So, hindi na rin yan kailangan ng uh, building permit uh, application. Ngayon, dito sa repair works, napaka-critical itong repair works, no? Kasi ito yung palaging tanong sa atin ng ating mga subscribers. Pagdating sa repair works, ang sinasabi dito, exempt sa building permit, pagka ang repair works not affecting or involving any structural member. Pag ang repair is not involving any structural member, such as, for example, replacement of deteriorated roofing Uh, sheets or tiles no? Replacement of deteriorated Take note of that no? Hindi yung sinasabi dito na Replacement of the whole roofing But replacement only Of the deteriorated Roofing sheets or tiles Gutters Downspouts Fascias Ceilings And or sidings Okay uh, Mamaya i-discuss natin yun kung bakit portion lang no or deteriorated lang or yung may tama lang na kailangan palitan. And then we have uh, repair and or replacement of non load bearing partition walls and the repair or replacement of any interior portion of a house not involving addition or alteration. Okay, ibig sabihin repair lang ng portion ng partition na may uh, problema. So yun lang yung uh, except sa Uh, application for building permit and then uh, repair and or replacement work of doors and windows no repair lang hindi uh, total replacement ito okay and repair or replacement work of uh, flooring and repair of perimeter fence and walls and repair and or replacement of plumbing fixtures fittings or pipings such as toilet bowls Sinks, lavatories, urinal, bidet, pipes, faucets, valves for single detached dwelling and duplexes. So, ang sinasabi dito sa repair is not totally alteration. No? Kasi yung iba, ang ginagawa nila, nag-alter talaga no? ng uh, bubong, for example. No? Nagbago talaga. Halimbawa, from uh, GI sheets ordinary. No? Mayroong portion ng alimbawa na mayroong deteriorated Ang ginawa, binaklas ng lahat ng bubong Nagpalit ng uh, rib type or tile Hindi yon considered as repair Alteration na yon. Ang sinasabi ng ating repair dito Sa National Building Code For its revised implementing rules and regulations Is that portion only to uh, bring back the original state of that Uh, roofing sheets for example Or any other uh, element Like uh, partition walls no? Ngayon, pag nagpalit ka ng buong partition Nag uh, Nag uh, reshuffle ka no, Ng uh, partition mo That is considered already as Alteration and kailangan na yan Ng building permit The same with roofing sheets no? Nagpalit ka ng roofing sheets Buong roofing sheets Pinalitan mo ng bago From uh, Ordinary Uh, roofing for example Ginawa mo siyang long span That is considered as alteration And not considered as repair no? Within the ambit of The uh, revised implementing rules and regulations Of uh, PD 1096 Ano ang suporta natin yan? Okay? Although we read provision of section 301 Under building permit Balikan ninyo ang section 106 ng uh, revised implementing rules and regulations ng National Building Code or PDT-96 dahil doon ninyo makikita ang definition of terms ng uh, addition, repair, alteration, or uh, other terms no? nandun sa definition of terms Halimbawa, doon sa section 106 sa definition nakalagay doon sa uh, definition ng alteration sinasabi doon Alteration means, sinasabi doon sa section 106 that works in building or structures involving changes in the materials use, partitioning, location, size of openings, structural parts, existing utilities and equipment, but does not increase the building height and or floor area. So, ibig sabihin, pagka nagkaroon ng uh, changes in the materials or Uh, partitioning Location no? That is considered as Alteration no? Hindi siya Makonsider as Repairs lang Bakit? 
Ano ang sinasabi ng repairs under Section 106 ng Revised IRR? Sinasabi dito that repair is only a remedial work done on any damage or deteriorated portions of the building or structure to restore in its or to restore to its original condition. Yun ang sinasabi ng definition, no? Only a remedial work done on any damage or deteriorated portions of the building or structure to restore to its original condition. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo lang i-restore yung portion na may damage no? para makonsider siya as repairs. Otherwise, pagka pinalitan mo yan ng buo, that is considered as alteration no? or baka nga renovation. No? Kasi yung sinasabi naman ng definition dito ng renovation is that any physical change made in buildings, structures to increase the value, quality, and or improve the aesthetic that is considered as renovation. So, halimbawa, no? uh, binago mo yung uh, roofing sheets mo ng buo, pinalitan mo yung ordinary uh, GI ng uh, tile span, for example, or rib type, including uh, gutters, no? and uh, nagkaroon na siya ng improvement sa aesthetics that is considered already as renovation and that is not considered already as repair. So, sinong sinasabi ng revised IRR natin, ang repair is only remedial work for the portions deteriorated to restore to its original condition. So, maliban on that, no, pagka nag-iba na, either ma-fall siya on renovation or ma-fall siya on alteration, then that requires already an application for building permit because hindi na siya ma-fall doon sa exception sa Section 301 uh, issuance of building permit. Bakit? Hindi siya, uh, hindi yon ang uh, sinasabi ng revised IRR natin na definition pagdating doon sa repair works. May mga kliyente kasi dyan na ang ginagawa ay uh, nagre-repair ng kanyang uh, bahay paunti-unti. No? At sinasabi niya, repair to, wala tong uh, building permit dahil exemption to under the rule. And then later on, mag-repair na naman ulit, mag-repair na naman ulit, mag-repair na naman ulit, hanggang matapos ang kanyang uh, bahay, ang lahat ng repairs niya was converted into uh, renovation no, of the structure. So, hindi yon Dahil ang sinasabi ng repair dito sa Section 106 ng National Building Code is that remedial work lang ng portion deteriorated. So, kung uh, nag-re-repair nag kayo pa unti-unti at hindi siya remedial work, on the portion deteriorated that is considered as renovation or either alteration and that is already required for a building permit application to the office of the building official. You have to take note that uh, magkaiba ang repairs and renovations and uh, pagka na fall ito sa renovations or alterations, there is a requirement of the application for building permit. Okay, so thank you uh, mga kamestro and uh, sa susunod na vlog na naman ulit, magkikita kita tayo.